When you're dealing with linear graphs, slopes is like the biggest deal. And you know, you're solving for slopes and you're looking at slopes and there's parallel and perpendicular and they kind of get a little confusing. I have a pretty good little, little situation I'd like to explain for making sure that your slopes are at least in the right direction. You can either have a positive slope like this, a negative slope, zero slope, or undefined slope. There's four situations. I'll show you each one. And the way I like to think about it is, you know, in America, we, we read left to right. So then picture you're walking left to right. So the same direction we read. If you're walking left to right and you go uphill, right? So here you are, you're walking left to right, and your line is uphill, that is a positive slope, okay? That's one way to, to remember it. So this, just glancing at this, you'd say, Definitely that is a positive slope. And the reason I care is because let's say you're doing a problem and you get your slope as negative, but you see the picture and it should be positive, something's wrong, okay? Same thing, here's a negative slope, okay? So you're coming over here, so you look at this line. If I'm walking left to right, just like we read in America, and I'm going downhill, that's a negative slope. So positive and negative sort of makes sense. What's weird is the idea of zero slope and the, the idea of undefined. So if you were like a downhill mountain biker, a steep slope would make sense. So zero slope might be intuitive. It might make sense. Zero slope is a flat horizontal line. The slope of this is zero, okay? And that'll come up. We'll do a couple problems and you'll come up. So you'll say, what's the slope of this line? Zero. But what's weirder or less intuitive is what is a vertical line? Right, like what does that even mean? That, that's like super steep. What, what is the slope of a vertical line? If this is your graph and that's perfectly vertical, the slope is undefined. So you can either write undefined or you put this cute little circle with the slash through it. Again, that's the same as undefined. So the four scenarios are positive, negative, <laughs> which makes sense, zero, and then undefined. Okay, so doing a couple problems, and before we, before we do a couple examples, the other thing is, you're gonna hear about parallel and perpendicular all the time. What you'll see is if you have two lines that are parallel, right, like this. These guys are parallel. I always think of the two yellow lines in the middle of a road. Those are parallel. There's a million things in the world that are parallel. Um, you'll find that the slope is identical, which makes sense. Up, over, up, over. Looks like they'll never cross, which they don't. Parallel lines never cross because they have the same slope. Algebraically, we'll do a couple problems, but you'll look at the slope of each and they'll match and you'll say, mm, okay, okay, that's parallel. Weirdly, perpendicular, they cross at exactly a 90. And so if you look at it graphically, you'll be like, I get it. So here's your line here and the guy perpendicular to him will cross exactly at a 90, okay? And what that means when you're looking at formula or equations of lines is, Remember, parallel had same slopes, y equals 2x plus 5, y equals 2x plus 11. Oh, and y equals mx plus b. These are my slopes. Since they're matching, that's parallel. But in perpendicular, this is trippy. In perpendicular, the slopes are negative reciprocals. All right, I said it, reciprocals. okay? So in this case, if it was like y equals whatever, 2 thirds x plus 1, anybody that is perpendicular to him would flip this fraction, so it's three over two, and change the sign. Who cares about the B? Ignore the B. Because these are inverses, flips of each other, and because they have the opposite sign, these two things are perpendicular, okay? So let's do a couple little practice problems that might come up in your class. They might say something like this, find the slope. So we'll do these really quick, right? You'll have two, four, and maybe, three, one. And you remember that the slope formula, I hope you remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It just means second y minus the first y, one minus four, over the second x minus the first x, three minus two. This would be negative three over one. Done. What's the slope between these two points? Negative three over one. So that's a negative. You might anticipate Next one might come out positive. I don't know, let's say I had two, four, and three, six. Okay, please find the slope of each two lines. Second y minus the first y, six minus four, over second x minus the first x, three minus two, that would be two over one. Oh, slope is a positive two. Okay, now I'm gonna get, this is gonna get weird. Just a heads up, okay? 
Now, what if you had this little, little situation? What if you had 2, 4, and then you had like 2, 7, all right? This would be second y minus first y, 7 minus 4 over second x minus first x, 2 minus 2, which would be 3 over 0. This is what I was explaining about undefined. Can you ever have 0 in the denominator of any fraction in the world on this planet? The answer is no. You can never have a 0 in the denominator. You can have a 0 in the numerator all day long, but a 0 in the denominator is no solution, which again would be the graph of a vertical line. If you plotted these points, you'd see that. You go 2, 4, 2, 7. Oh, he's right. It's a vertical line. And you don't need to graph it because you know that algebraically this came out to undefined. Okay, now I'm going to do a zero slope, maybe. I don't want to ruin, I don't want to spoil it. Uh, let's do this one. 3, 5, and 6, 5. Okay, y minus y, 5 minus 5, over x minus x, 6 minus 3. That'd be 0 over 3. This is not undefined. 0 can be divided by 3. This is solvable. Do it in your calculator. You will not come up with undefined. 0 divided by any number is 0, so the slope of this is 0, which means I know it must be a horizontal line. All right? That makes sense. Don't lie. Okay. The only other, like, little drama I'll give you, a little practice problem for your quiz is this. They'll say something like this. Okay, 3x plus 5, y equals 2 there's x plus 9. And they'll say, are these two lines parallel, perp, perpendicular, or neither? You don't care about the b. You can might as well delete those. All you care about is the slope, if that's the question. His slope is 2 over 3. His slope is 2 over 3. Oh, they're the same. Because the slopes are identical, these are parallel. Okay. Now, the next question they'll ask is, and you know they're going to go back to back because teachers love doing that. It can be like this y equals 4x minus 9, y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2. Again, if they're asking if it's parallel or perpendicular, who cares about the b's? All I care about are the slopes. Are these negative reciprocals of one another? Yeah, this is 4 over 1. Any whole number is over 1. It looks like they flipped it, changed the sign, so yes, these are totally perpendicular. Okay, so now you're like a master in this subject. So that's it. And remember, if you're having a hard time with your local high school, you can take this class online at Silicon Valley High School. And if you pass it there, the credits will be transferred back to your high school.